Well, good morning to Crescent King uh, Sacristan Job Training. We'll just go through a couple of the sheets here. So this sheet will always be up in the sacristy door right in here. So anytime you come in, just feel free to take a peek at it and get going off the checklist there. So we just have this idea that liturgy fuels us to become disciples and then what we do enables others to become disciples. Really following Jesus, not only here at Mass, but outside as well. So um, just mentioned Zach's contact number, Zach Arduino, our liturgical uh, ministry scheduler who's helping us. So any need for help, reach out to any of us. Um, as far as before Mass goes for sacristans, we just expect that a person would arrive 45 minutes before Mass. And then I myself will unlock the narthex doors 45 minutes or an hour before Mass begins. And then I'll do my best to unlock this one, but if it's not, just come find me. <laughs> but uh, Check counter in the sacristy just over here for any notes or special instructions. Let's say, for instance, if we have a sprinkling rite, we're going to use incense that day and what that all looks like. From there, you would want to turn on all of the lights there at the light switch uh, down the hallway here. Switches by the sanctuary, including the ceiling fans. Switch in the back of the church by the narthex doors for the icon back there. That one's trickier to find, but you can get it in there. Switch in the cry room up high for the baptistry lights and then switches in the narthex which are across from the bathrooms and all of those. And then from there, you would be able to come back towards the front of the church here and switch on the air conditioning unit. Um, and that's that black switch behind in the what I call the choir working section. So it's behind the choir side of the altar and then it's just right in that area. Um, ensure that the lectionary is on the ambo and the proper day's readings are marked. You would then, from there, place the key on, in the tabernacle. So there's two keys in the sacristy here. One is just up in the closet right over here. And then there's another one that's really high up in here. Um, the third floor. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's in a glass dish, a little one over here. So either one of those, grab those and make sure it gets out to the sacristy, uh, into the tabernacle there. Ensure that the safe room, so back here, door is unlocked and we're still working on the key situation. So just hopefully it's open. If not, talk to myself or one of the staff to make sure that that gets open. Um, after that, you would just ensure that the altar servers have lit the candles. And if they haven't and we're 10 to 5 minutes away, just go ahead and light those yourself. Ensure that the musicians have turned on the sound system. If you're not sure where that sound system is, ask a liturgical ministry mentor or ask a, a somebody that, that can show you where that's out. Check that the microphone on the ambo to ensure that the green light is on. So that way at the very end of the microphone close to the wooden part where it comes from, there's just a little switch and you would hit that and it turns green or it should already just be green anyway. And then you would check the tabernacle candle, the sanctuary lamp, so the lamp that's in the big red um, holder and this right by the tabernacle and if it's low you want to just uh, change that if necessary or if it's out but they last quite a long time so we shouldn't have to worry about it you shouldn't have to need that but if you do need it those are over in the far side in that choir working area so right behind where the choir for, uh, sings for us just back in there there's closets with the albs in it and then right on the other side, there are the host, extra host and extra wine, as well as the sanctuary lamps. They're very big candles. You can't miss them. So that's where everything's at there. As far, that's all before mass. As far as the credence table goes, so that's the table here in the sanctuary up here where priests and deacons are running around at, just that, with that table right on the back wall. We want to make sure that there is my chalice, or whoever priest is helping out that day, a house for them, and a communion chalice for each of the deacons. So if both Deacon Corey and Deacon John are here, two chalices. If just one, just one for them, and then mine. And then just uh, what we're saying is kind of a smaller amount of wine. We are going to be using the pitcher now, and that would just be filled up with two ounces of wine. So fairly small amount. All of the measuring glasses are up here, and just pop that um, right in here, and then we'll have the deacons be able to distribute that.
that once the, the gifts are brought forward. So from there, um, two or three purificators. So the purificators are right here in these top drawers. And from there, uh, depending on how many deacons there are, so if it's a priest and two deacons, three purificators, and accordingly. Um, there will be one corporal. The corporals are also in there. They're the, they're the larger of the linens. And you want to make sure one of those is out on the credence table as well. There should be a large glass bowl and a towel and a pewter pitcher. So we have the next one. Uh, next one. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. So we got the uh, bowl right up in here, and we have um, the the pitcher right in there as well. And then the towels usually come from over here. Is that right? Or are mm -hmm. they over here? Yeah, no, no they're okay. all over yeah, there. They're all over there. And these are different towels, so don't you know. We use these ones. That's to dry. Yep, yeah, that's to dry there. So that's good. We didn't put that on here, so we might need to talk about that. After that, um, there should be a small glass cruet with water. So that's this one as well. And that's what the deacons use for the commingling. And then you want to make sure the Roman Missal is out there. And it's almost always out there. It never leaves the altar. It's either back on the credence table or it's in the presider's table between the four and the priests and deacons sit. So that's just the large red book. Uh, not to be confused with the book of the Gospels, which stands by the tabernacle. That's taller and skinnier. And then the Roman Missal's smaller and really thick. So that's, uh, that's what we got going there. And then on the back of our guide sheet, the presider's table between the deep priests and deacons that I just mentioned. You want to make sure that there's glasses and with water and ice. So all the glasses are in here, and then you just fill that up with ice from the fridge right over here, and then water, and you're good to go. From there, uh, the credenza in the back is what we need to make sure is set up as well. So you have Father Carl's gold patent. So talking about this dish right here. So that gold patent is what you want to make sure is back there with one large host and 50 small hosts. So those hosts are over here. The large hosts are in this container and then the smaller hosts that you want 50 of those are in there. Uh, so from there what you would want to do is uh, make sure that all of that is in the credence table in the back and we're going to start having pictures again back here so that way it'll make it more clear and then you'll be bringing the pitcher with the wine in it as well make sure that there are extra hosts in the drawer in the back so if we have to add any during mass they're there and if we have to subtract any there's a bag that they can be put into and they're just huge that's always back there as well so you shouldn't have to worry about it the book of the Gospels, make sure that the ribbon is on the correct reading out there. So you might just match it up to the reading that's on the ambo for the appropriate Sunday. And then make sure that there's the appropriate money bag in the basket. And so that will be back in the credenza in one of the drawers underneath there, close by the baskets that take up the collection. During the octave of Easter, there's usually a sprinkling rite. So we want to make sure that the bowls of holy water are in the back of the church. So there's already one back there underneath the font where the holy water kind of font that standalone is. And then there's also some over here. So in there, there's a bucket and then there's the what's called the aspergillium, but it's also, you can call it the holy water stick. So whatever you call it. So those ones are there and I'll be ready for uh, that part of our liturgy there. Before Mass, you want to check in with the ministers and get substitutes when necessary. The list of the ministers is in that folder back where the ministers check in at. And then during Mass, you want to count the parishioners during the responsorial psalm. So if you've helped with that before, but if you have never helped, you just walk up each of the sides during that responsorial psalm and count every soul, young and old, and then write that on a sheet that's in the back uh, there on that credenza. Uh, and then you want to, from there, uh, subtract any small children who haven't received First Communion. And then with that count, after having subtracted those that are most likely not receiving Communion, then you want to add or subtract host. So at that point in time, there will be 50 on the table up here in, in the sanctuary. And then there will be 50 back there. But let's say for some reason there ends up being 150 people that night but you, you know that uh, 25 of those are young children. 
So you would just want to only add 25 so that our final communion count is the 50 up here, those 50 in the back, and then 25 extras that you put in. Let's say for instance, there's only 80 people at mass that night and five of them are children. So then you want to make sure that you take out 20 plus the five that are the children. So that way you end up with just 75 hosts, 50 up here near the altar, and then the 25 back in the bat and that will be brought up with the gifts. So if that needs any more clarification, be sure to check in with me or whatever we need to do. Write the count on the count sheet in the drawer in the credenza, or whatever your final count for that mass is. And then the ushers can put the collection in the money bag after the collection, but you're more than welcome to assist um, and just make sure that that goes smooth. It seems like it's been working great, so just keep it up. And then finally, after mass. So we wanna ensure that all the sacred vessels are clean, clean and placed in the proper cabinet. So typically everything's at the, uh, the, the what do you call it? Credence table, table. yep, credence table back here. And then you just bring everything back to this uh, table and then a, a spot of soap. There's some, there's, some, uh, there's some sponges down in here that are able to be used. And so just clean those all up, make sure they get dried and then put them right back where you found them and get ready for the next mess. And then from there, you're gonna make sure the key is out of the tabernacle and placed back in the proper cabinet. And then snuff out any of the candles, ensure that the linens are put in the proper laundry bags. The laundry bags are at the far side of this sacristy, just back in the corner, low labeled, it's just a bigger kind of brown laundry bags. And then you wanna check the bathrooms and then prop the door open. From there, you wanna turn off the lights if somebody's in the church praying, feel free to let them go. But usually, especially after the eight o'clock mass, just leave them on and people will be coming in and out, getting ready for 11 o'clock. From there, you wanna turn off the air conditioning uh, unit that's behind that, that choir uh, working area, and then um, make sure that that's all good to go. Um, ensure that the musicians have turned off that microphone, and then lock and ensure the outside doors are locked in the narthex. So again, we haven't been doing that much after the eight o'clock, but definitely for the four o'clock and the 11 o'clock. Then you wanna double check the outside doors by the piano and the sacristy. They often look closed, but sometimes they're not latched. So just push up against any of those doors and make sure we're in good shape there. Pull this sacristy door closed and that will lock automatically there. And then the only other things are just a reminder that we're hoping to have those photos that would be here so you know what the, what the credence table is supposed to look like, what's the credenza supposed to look like, what's everything and where it's supposed to be at. So that'll be helpful. And then just a reminder that this checklist will be here, most likely in this cabinet. The current one is here. And now with this new update, we'll update it, insert it, and then it'll be right back in here. So. Thank you guys so much for your ministry. If you're new to the Sacristan ministry, welcome and thank you for your service. And so we'll just say a quick prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. A glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end, amen. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. All right, you guys.